everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Mayweather's poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. approaching the ring now and this ring walk can tell you so much look at the focus on his face Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. This has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn, and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. Precision work with the left hand by Money. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. able to avoid that punch 90 seconds to go here in this round Protecting his head well with his guard. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Come on, kid, focus. Well placed, straight right hand. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches, 
I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Side to side, okay? I want to I see that head move. Here we go. Round two is underway. Hits him in the mug with the right. Big shot up top. He really got to him there. Goes up top with a right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Now he's targeting upstairs. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Placed left hand up top. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Mayweather's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. The left hand coming into play by Money. Ten seconds to go in this round. End of the round here. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect a guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. To live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Off the target by Money. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Mayweather's nailed by a huge uppercut. Blocks that blow and then a counter uppercut. He's 
Mayweather's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Not much action as he just ties up. Keep moving. Mayweather's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of the jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Halfway through this round here. Target there, he gets away from that punch. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, Go ahead, think you can try to. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Watch the hook. Good job, buddy. Get your hands up. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Good job! And the round comes to an end. Stand in front of him. Okay, listen. There you go. I want to see that straight right. Do the jab and get straight down the middle. You got that jab, jab, right. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep him up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, so I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles, but maybe going to lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Good left there. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. He's tired. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Halfway through round number four. home well one or two more of those it'll be the end of the night
Body shot lands. It was the right. Solid left hand to the head. Relax. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here now. We're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping a punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little, flip the script a bit. He scored well after being hit himself. See him holding on. Nowhere close that punch by Money. Money's putting forth a great combination there. Good right hand by Money. And he just holds on there. Mayweather's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Back to the body. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Money's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Go, go, go. Mayweather's getting himself into the mix now. Solid. What a shot. What a clean left hand that was that knocked him down. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Money. And banging away he goes. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. able to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul accurate shot straight right hand comes in right to the body good defense just covering up down low I shake it off End of the round here, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. And Teddy, I think a, a completely different look than when we saw before because he's losing this fight on the scorecards, but he did win that last round. He did it to start. You know, you have to start somewhere to build. Now he has to start putting them together. 
But the attitude has to be the same. You can't start looking down the road in boxing and okay, saying anything in okay. life, actually, and start saying, see, you know, I got to get six breath. rounds. I got to get four rounds. Open. No, get one at oh, a time. You know? That's the only way you could do it. That's how he's trying to do it. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. It's over. The fight is over. Money's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. able to end this fight by way of knockout it didn't feel like that kind of fight teddy i thought we were going the distance here well it feels like it now and ask him when he wakes up that does it from ringside for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us